And let's bring in our panel now to discuss some of the day's biggest stories. Joining us right now, former White House advisor during the Trump administration, Sebastian Gorka, also the host of the Gorka Reality Check right here on Newsmax, Sundays, 7 and 10 p.m. It's a don't miss. And we're pleased also to be joined today by Professor Emeritus at Harvard Law School, Alan Dershowitz, who's also the author of the new book, War Against the Jews. Gentlemen, great to have you both with us today on Newsline. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us, Bianca. Yes. Professor Dershowitz, sir, I'd like to start with you because of you are uh, right there in the center of all of this. You are at Harvard, where we just heard that 500 faculty members are trying to voice their support for the president, uh, Claudine Gay. They're urging, actually, for the members of Harvard to come out and publicly say that they won't bow to political pressure. Some of the folks who signed this letter say it's not an exoneration of her. Do you feel that's the same way, uh, Professor Dershowitz, or is it? Oh, I think it's a complete exoneration, and I think many of these faculty members are just pandering. Um, they're afraid that she might stay and, and, and make reprisals against them. Uh, the vast majority of Harvard, by which I mean students, faculty, alumni, very much want to see uh, the board of directors take some action uh, against her. And Harvard today is intolerable. Uh, students are frightened. <clears throat> They're not going to classes. They are very, very worried about their future. <clears throat> and President Gay is part of the problem, not part of the solution. She's instrumental in what's called the DEI program, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, which has been the basic origin of the anti-Semitism on campus. Uh, she herself fired a dean uh, at uh, Harvard some years ago when she was the dean of the faculty because he was in a pastoral role and his job was to make the students feel safe. Mm -hmm. Applying that to her, she has made thousands of students at Harvard feel unsafe. And uh, I am shocked at these Harvard faculty members who, without condemning Hamas, without condemning her explicitly, without admitting that she created a terrible problem for Harvard are just pandering, just pandering yes. to her. Don't reflect uh, the real Harvard. Sebastian, I'll let you uh, pick up on that. And also uh, MIT's president, uh, Kornbluth, getting the support of the board. So what's your reaction to all of this? Well, I, I've got some bad news for people who think that President Gay is some kind of outlier. Uh, I had a fellowship at uh, Harvard back in uh, the late 1990s uh, at the Kennedy School, and um, I was a, a young father with a one-year-old child and a pregnant wife. And a few weeks into the semester, I was sent an email on my student account uh, requesting that I attend the Gay and Lesbian Students Association at Harvard. I wrote back a very polite email and I, I told them, I'm a happily married man with children. Uh, I will not be attending the LGBTQ LMNOP you know, students meeting next week. The next day, I was called onto the carpet by the dean of the Kennedy School at Harvard and uh, dressed down for my quote unquote bigotry because I believe that a man should be married to a woman and I wasn't going to attend their PC LGBTQ love fest. So yeah. this has been going on for more than 20 years, but I, I've got some bad news for people who think it make, makes a difference if you get rid of this woman. Chris Rufo has a tweet out this morning with 10 million impressions about how this woman plagiarized yeah. her PhD thesis. Even if you get rid of her uh, after Penn, and if you get rid of the MIT president, it won't make a difference. These are hot beds of yeah, anti-Semitism and anti-Americanism. Absolutely. There's a deep-rooted problem that's deeper. I, I do think the issue of plagiarism has been uh, selectively applied and exaggerated. I've read the allegations, and I don't think they justify her being fired. But I do think that her long history of lack of support for free speech, only the only free speech she has ever supported, as far as I know, was hate speech against Jews. Uh, yeah. And and that's just unacceptable. It's the double standard that I think should require her removal. And her own standard, saying that she is in a role that has to protect students. She has not made students feel safe. No. That's the... Uh and the FBI is investigating, you probably know, Professor Dershowitz, after a student has complained and said they were a victim of a hate crime. There's an open investigation right now against Harvard. So we're going to watch it very closely. 